Welcome to the Phoenix Pro Guide to Aruba Central. In this video, we'll show you how to manage firmware for devices using Aruba Central. Click on Firmware in the main menu. In this example, we're going to manage firmware for some switches. So we start by selecting the Aruba Switches tab. Here you can see all your switches, the firmware version they are using, and the recommended version. You can manage firmware individually by selecting the switch you want to manage. In this example, we're going to upgrade this switch. Select the switch and click on continue. You have the option of upgrading to the recommended firmware version or to other versions. If you select other, you'll need to select the firmware version you prefer to use. You have the option of pushing the firmware to the switch immediately by selecting now or at a later time and also to auto reboot after the firmware has been downloaded. In this example, I'm choosing to push the firmware immediately but to not auto reboot. Click on Upgrade, then click OK. And you can see that the firmware is being pushed to the switch. Once the firmware has been downloaded, you have the option to reboot that switch, which you need to do for the change to take effect. To do so, click on the Reboot hyperlink, and you should see your switch rebooting. After a few minutes, your switch should come back online, and you'll see the new firmware version applied. You can also manage your firmware at an organization or a group level. To do so, click on Manage Firmware Compliance. Choose whether you want to manage firmware on all devices in the entire organization, all groups, or only devices in a particular group. In this example, we'll upgrade the firmware of all the switches in my lab group. I'm going to select the recommended firmware version and choose to push it out immediately, but to reboot later. Click on Save and Upgrade and you should see your switches downloading the firmware. Once the firmware image has been downloaded successfully, you can reboot the switches to apply the changes. After a few minutes, all your switches should be back online, running the new firmware version. We hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. For access to more resources, visit phoenixpro.club.